The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Preston, England, weighing in at 246 pounds, Bad News Barrett. King, have you ever seen anybody more happy to deliver bad news than Bad News Barrett? Let's see, aside from when Mr. McMahon fired Stone Cold Steve Austin, no, I haven't. Only in WWE are you going to get action like we're about to see in this one. And approaching the ring from Cobb County, Georgia, weighing 315 pounds, the Big Boss Man. Well, this superstar has all the tools needed to win this one. Now let's see if he can put them together. You know, week in and week out, this guy gets one of the biggest reactions of the night. I love watching a good Big Boss Man match. Me too. There's nobody better than the Big Boss Man. Into the chin lock. Oh! And he gets leveled. Barrett is doing an excellent job dominating this match. No bad news, Barrett has had some memorable moments here in WWE. He won the first season of NXT. He led the evil group called Nexus. He's been in the core, and he's been an intercontinental champion. Barrett's been rubbing up WWE's favorite heroes, and now he's handing out bad news. And he, he's just getting started. We're in the feeling out process. Who's going to get the advantage and maintain control? Your guess is as good as mine, Cole. Barrett seems helpless. What a powerful scoop slam. Can you get quite the overview earlier of Bad News Barrett's tenure here in WWE? Barrett's lit faction's been a champion has remained one of WWE's most loathsome villains, which the British Bruiser is quite proud of, by the way. Yeah, well, listen, Cole. When you're a former Bare Knuckles champion like Bad News Barrett, you're going to attack everything and everyone with no regard for rules or an opponent's well-being. And that's the good news. I don't know what's going to happen here. What's he gonna do here? What's he gonna do here? I don't think there's an area on that back that's not suffering right now. Yeah, when he wakes up in the morning, the only thing on his body that's not gonna hurt is his pajamas. Today, too fast. Barrett with a reversal. Hey, and if you guys need proof of exactly how unstoppable Bad News Barrett has been over the years, just check out his trophy case. There's a lot of Intercontinental Championships in there. Going for the cover. One, two, and the shoulders up. And the match continues. I love this. Oh, not yet, says Boss Man. You can bet every superstar on the roster is crowded around the monitors in the back to see which one of these guys comes out victorious. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. He's endured heavy blows here. I don't know how much longer he can go. The referee may have to call this match, King. Oh, my gosh, this is awful. I'm going to tell you something. Barrett, what a maneuver. Barrett into the cover. And he escapes with a kick out. How does the boss man still have anything left in the tank? You know, there's no other way Bad News Barrett prefers to end a brawl than with his bull hammer. I mean, when Barrett winds up and delivers the crushing elbow smash, it's gonna be, huh, you guessed it, bad news. 
It's on. He's got it on. This pushes the already bruised muscles to the absolute limit. Is he going to tap? I don't know how long he can endure the agony. Well, there's no doubt about it. He's going to have to tap here. He's got no choice. That stop might have only lasted a second, but it's going to be felt tomorrow. That may be felt for a lifetime. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Bringing it back between the ropes. And that's a good thing. Unleashes the backdrop with a vengeance. Oh, man, that's coming down from a long way up and hitting hard. You know, King, Wasteland or Bull Hammer Elbow, either one is incredibly impressive. One of the most amazing things I ever saw was when Barrett lifted up Big Show and delivered Two. Wasteland to him. Yeah, and he did the same thing to Mark Henry. Unreal. As for the Bull Hammer, though, there's not too many lucky souls left that have avoided that. And he lands a crushing neckbreaker. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. Three. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. That must have caused major damage. You just oh. can't train to be ready for an assault like that. And somebody's going to be sore in the morning. I'm not sure I can watch this. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt Six. kicking right here. Wow, he's still down after that. Back between the ropes. Trying to build some offense. Oh, and bad news, Barrett getting on a roll here. As we're seeing if anyone in WWE locks taking the fight to an opponent, it's Wade Barrett. on the aggression. I knew the big boss man still had it in him. He's displaying classic offense here. Yeah, that's when he's the most dangerous. Oh, man! What impact from that suplex! You know, King, Wasteland or Bull Hammer Elbow, either one is incredibly impressive. One of the most amazing things I ever saw was when Barrett lifted up Big Show and delivered Wasteland to him. Yeah, and he did the same thing to Mark Henry. Unreal. As for the bull hammer, though, there's not too many lucky souls. And Barrett nails it. The shoulders are down. Two. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your... Oh, that's it! That's gotta be it! Barrett! Now, that's a finishing move, people. Two, three, what a win! Man, he's gotta feel great! Here's your winner! No ifs, ands, or buts about it. That was a huge win. That's a big win right there. Anytime you pin another WWE competitor's shoulder to the mat for the three count, you should be proud. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight. The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring, Scott Hall and Kevin Nash, the Outsiders. Four of WWE's finest squaring off in what will assuredly be an exciting tag team encounter. Man, these teams have been waiting for this one, and so have I.
And their opponents, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, the New Day. Man, both of these teams are determined to walk away with a win. Something's got to give. I'd say this team looks like they have what it takes to walk away victorious tonight. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. We're here live and this match has begun. In tag team action, it's about which duo can work together better in order to score the victory for your team. He's in big trouble. Jerry, you've seen everything in this business, faced all sorts of opponents and powerhouses. Give us your opinions on this man, Scott Hall. You know, I think the best way to describe Xavier Woods' offense would be a whirlwind. Woods just explodes with a flurry of attacks, but he can slow things down on a dime with wear down holds and submissions. When it comes to ingenious offense, Xavier Woods is the man. The sky's the limit. I see a lot of main events in the future. And there's the tag. Now that's striking with pinpoint accuracy. You can't take too many of those. This will be a physical battle. You're right about that, Cole. This is gonna be a war. This could be so physical that it gets really ugly before it's over. Uh-oh. Take it down with a beautiful suplex. See what kind of response we'll get. Yeah, I'm telling you, that suplex was perfect. I have a strong feeling these guys will throw caution to the wind and just go full steam ahead. I hope you're right. That's exactly what I want to see. Quick thinking to avoid that. Dishing out some serious punishment here. Kofi Kingston is tagged in. Ow. Ooh. Look out. Kofi Kingston is one of the most exhilarating performers WWE has ever seen. Kofi's a multiple-time Intercontinental Champion, United States Champion, and held WWE and World Tag Team Gold, too. And we can't forget Kofi's brilliance in the Royal Rumble and Money in the Bank matches. He's got him. Kingston's in a bad way here. He needs to turn the tables. Seems like these guys are letting out a lot of pent-up frustration tonight. Did you see that? Kevin Nash establishing a deliberate pace now. One of Kofi's early rivalries that really put him on the map was his battle in 2009 with Randy Orton. That's the first time the world really saw a different kind of fire in Kofi to defend himself in everything he stood for. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Cole, that looked like the house has been empty for months. If you thought Monday Night Raw was exciting last night, just wait until you see what we have scheduled for tonight. Two. 
Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. Three. And those fists just kept flying and flying. Wow. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the oh. ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous oh. objects. Here we go, back inside the ring. What do you mean we? We're still outside the ring, Cole. It's them, they're inside the ring. Here's a guy in Scott Hall who was among WWE's elite, but despite that, still jumped to WCW in one of the most shocking moves of all time. You can't blame him, Michael. The man was in demand, and WCW is willing to give him far more money to work far fewer times. Scott Hall would have been crazy to pass that up. Scott Hall hit the mat hard on that one. Oh! Look at this. He's in full control of this one. Whoa, look at this offense. Montefisto, Montefisto. Xavier Woods wants to end this right here, right now. Looks like he will. Yeah, it looks like a big victory for Xavier Woods. One of Kofi's early... Hey, the shoulders are down. These competitors will always be looking to unleash their finishing maneuver, and when that happens, the complexion of the match can change in a heartbeat. You're right about that. The entire match can end in a heartbeat if somebody hits their big move. to be able to put things back together here. Michael, this is a dangerous position to be in. He needs to be able to find a way to clear the cobwebs and regroup. Let's just hope Kevin Nash's stamina can hold up. This guy's just too strong. Oh, this may very well end it. Oh, Xavier Woods is on the move. Looking to catch him off guard. Quick round count. Two. And that's the tag to Kofi Kingston. That strike hit the spot. There's no way he could have avoided that blow. God, I think it's safe to say that the way Kevin Nash entered WCW revolutionized the business. Without a doubt, Michael, and not just the in-ring portion. Kevin Nash's departure from WWE and subsequent arrival in WCW also changed the business end of the business. It for makes the cover. He gets the tag. He's looking at it again. Look out. Look out. Oh, the big boot is falling. And this one may be over. He goes for the quick pin attack. Count, right? Two. Count. Well, what offense? And speaking of contracts, it's worth noting that Kevin Nash's arrival in WCW also spurred an intense legal battle between WWE and WCW, as it was Eric Bischoff and company who were claiming that Nash and Hall were still under a WWE contract. That clearly was not the case. There it is, Jack Knight Powerbomb. That is an impressive move right there. Wow, now that's what you call a finisher. This might be it. Hot damn, it's exciting. Will this be enough? Hang on. Two. Here we go. Everybody's in the ring now. Now that's the type of move that sends a message to an opponent. Yeah, and that's a message you don't want to receive. You know, enough about contracts and legalities. The core of this business is what happens inside that ring. And Kevin Nash and Scott Hall have proven themselves as one of the most dominant tag teams in WCW history. 
And now he, Xavier Woods is going to finish him off with a Montefisto. It's all over, folks. You know, I don't usually like to say nice things about Xavier Woods, but he has impressed me in this match. Good job getting to the ropes there. Remember, momentum in WWE can turn on a dime and leave you some change. An incredible move by Xavier Woods. Now that's a finish. And here's a cover. Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, the new day. I love a good tag team match, and this one was unforgettable. I mean, these teams gave us everything they had, and the WWE Universe is the true winner in this one. And don't forget you and I, we have the best seats in the house. Anytime. Hey, wait a minute. Is that, is that? It is. Look who's coming out here. This isn't his match, but it looks like he's got a bone to pick with one of the superstars. Yeah, and he doesn't look too happy to see him either. Did you hear the trash talk between them? I don't think he's going to stay focused in this match. This match will start as we're joined by our guest, no doubt here, to observe one of these competitors. Yeah, too bad he's not in the mood to talk. Don't bother him, Michael. I don't want any trouble coming over our way. The collar and elbow tie-up in a battle for control here. Yeah, and Michael, it's so important to come out of this on top because you can do so many things to your opponent from this position. I think I can safely speak for my broadcast colleagues when I say it's a real treat anytime you get to witness somebody with the credentials of Bret Hart compete in the ring. Yeah, it's not safe to speak for me, but there's something I agree with, Michael. Bret Hart has one of the greatest resumes in sports entertainment history, including runs as both WWE and WCW champion. And Steve Austin is doing an excellent job dominating this match. Thinking to avoid that. Oh, wait, nice reversal. That shot hit the opponent exactly in the right spot. What accuracy. As John mentioned earlier, Bret Hart is known for his WWE and WCW championship runs. And of course, you also have to include his reign as Intercontinental, United States, World, and WCW Tag Team Champion. We're looking at complete domination here. If you're just tuning in, I'm Michael Cole. Thank you for joining us on this Tuesday evening. Reversing it. Incredible. Figure four leg lock. Oh, man, Cole, let me tell you how bad that hurts. Just a dominating display. Yeah. I think we could see a lot of punishment inflicted here. You know, Michael, listening to you run down Bret Hart's list of accomplishments earlier is literally awe-inspiring. It's no wonder the Hitman is in the WWE Hall of Fame. Sometimes the best offense is a great defense, and that's exactly what we're seeing here. Not today, too fast. Oh, out of nowhere. He's doing everything he can to get his bearings back here. Otherwise, this match could be over sooner than anyone could have anticipated. Yeah, Cole, this is when you... Hard Irish whip into the corner. 
Uh-oh, our guest is getting a little restless here. And there's a confrontation at our table right in front of us between these two superstars over some unresolved issues. And there's a match going on. Now's not the time, guys. Uh-oh, see, Michael, I told you. Hey. Oh, he missed. Oh, nobody home that time. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. Why is the guy his opponent and what's he going for here? Look at this. The Luthes press. That'll do it. You're right about that. That was brutal. Makes the cover. One, two. And it's up. He got the shoulder up. Better be careful. Looks like Bret Hart isn't done yet. And that's how you do it. Shoulders up now. That's a kick out. Nice. Bret Hart dug deep for that one. And there's the neck breaker. Good luck turning your head after that one. Yeah, you'll have a stiff neck for weeks. If you thought Monday Night Raw was exciting last night, just wait until you see what we have scheduled for tonight. The Hitman's got him! Oh, wow! Watch it, watch it! The knife edge chop! Oh, that had to hurt! Here he goes for the win! Let's do this! Two. And he escapes with a kick out. I can't believe it! He just won't go away! If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. Steve Austin making his statement as we speak. Oh my! Look at the blood just pouring down his face. Every muscle in that body is battered now. Looking for all the glory here. And he breaks the cover, forcing the referee to stop the count. Well, that's just not enough to get the job done. Oh, there is no quit in this man tonight. And the strike lands. Oh, <laughs> what a shot. That did some serious. His shoulders are down. One, two. two. There's no quit in these guys, but unfortunately, only one of them can be victorious here tonight. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Cole. What's he going to do here? Going for the cup. One, and it's up. He got the shoulder up. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. He's in full-on attack mode now. As this continues, it's harder and harder to catch your breath. Yeah, that'll take the wind out of your sails. Not going to win many matches with that move. Whoa! A direct hit. Talk about getting tagged and knocked in the middle of next week. What a maneuver by Bret Hart. Well, we're on the move here. People have been wanting to see these guys go at it for a long time, and by the sound of this crowd, I think they're getting what they wanted. Two. Now it's Bret Hart with momentum. I'm not sure I can watch this. Three. Getting his attention with a vicious strike. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Six. 
These guys are giving it their all here tonight, not just to entertain the fans, but to ultimately walk away with the win. Hang on. Whoa, another one of the countless ways Brett Hitman Hart can defeat an opponent. I think we may be moments away from seeing his breaking point. What diabolical things are going through that mind right now? When you get in control like this, you want to... He thinks he has it. Two. Boy, this has just been pandemonium. No kidding. What a matchup. This has been a classic. If you're just tuning in, I'm Michael Cole. Thank you for joining us on this Tuesday evening. Bret Hart is a force within the ring. High risk. Whoa, whoa! When he gets going like this, there are few better. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Great move. So punishing. What an assault. This type of attack takes things to a completely different level and leaves your opponent agonizing to breathe. Grasping for air now. That's vicious. Cutting off oxygen inflicts serious damage to an opponent. Hey, you could have until the referee's five count to break it. Use it. Watch it. Watch it. A perfect stone cold stunner. There it is. The bed. The shoulders are down. One, two, three. Oh, wow. What a win. Here's your winner, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And Steve Austin walks away with the win. Nothing for Bret Hart to be ashamed of. That was some stiff competition here tonight. I couldn't agree more. What an amazing combination.